Mark Rogers, TV here at American Athletic Conference Media Day, joined by SMU head coach Chad Morris. Uh, coach, appreciate the time. Um, talk about last season because at times you were able to compete with some of the better teams in the country, namely TCU, Baylor, for a half, three quarters. Other times you were a bit overmatched, uh, just kind of the maturation process of a team needing to find that consistency. Well, I, I think, you know, you look at our schedule last year, we played six of our teams were ranked in the top 20. Um, I think we competed with all with about two games. I mean, we, we were in every ball game that we played all the way to the end. Um, but, uh, you know, our guys played exceptionally hard, establishing a culture, you know, coming into a, a conference, obviously, that was – that was uh, tougher than I think what people envisioned. Uh, taking over a team that uh, was one in eleven, um, you know, I knew that it was about changing the culture. It, it, you know, I wasn't taking over a program that had a bunch of draft picks on it already. Um, it, this was truly a rebuild, and so uh, uh, establishing our culture was a big part of it as we come in from year one to year two. Um, but uh, you know, and getting those guys to believe that we were making a difference, we were improving. Uh, we weren't seeing it on the Saturdays in the scoreboard. Obviously, that's my job to win football games. But, uh, you know, so for us to, to show our players of the, of the wins that we were having and, and, and celebrate, we had to create daily wins uh, because our program was being rebuilt from the ground floor up. But, um, again, you know, we're coming into year two, we're expecting a lot, a lot better things. You talk about program building. You come from a place like Clemson. Um, how much do you bring from the experience there and a long line of coaching experiences versus saying this is a unique situation, I have to adapt to what SMU is? Well, a, a bunch. You know, you take uh, what you know. And uh, what I know is, is being working for a great man in Davo Sweeney and, and uh, his wife Kathleen being so much a part of, of the, of the, uh, the coaches' wives and, and uh, how he ran a program. He's got a great vision. Uh, but at the end of the day, I got to be myself. Um, but take the take the lessons and, and the values that we've learned, the culture that we established at Clemson, and uh, and bring it to SMU. Again, we we knew what we were getting into. We knew this was going to be a, a rebuild. This this wasn't. I, I didn't walk into a situation. I felt like that. Hey, we're already established. I knew the I knew what I was getting into. I'm from the Dallas area. I've sent plenty of kids to SMU that uh, from from high school programs that I've been a part of. And I knew the perception of SMU football in that state. And uh, so that's a complete overhaul. It's a complete change. And it's something that I wanted to have happen overnight. And it's not. And it, it's, it's, it truly is a process. And it's a, it's a one day at a time mentality that we take. Coach, talking about the offense specifically, Matt Davis led the team in rushing from the quarterback position. Obviously, being a dual threat guy, you take advantage of that. But at the same time, do you look for more traditional running out of the backs to take some heat off of him? Well, we got two running backs that are some of the tops in the conference coming back. Uh, I'm excited about Xavier Jones and Braden West. I feel like they're, you know, Braden's one of the top return men, all purpose yardage guys in the country. Uh, Xavier Jones is a young man that's back, that's uh, uh, be a sophomore this year, that, that broke Eric Dickerson's touchdown mark. Um, and so we expect more out of Matt. We don't we don't want him or expect more out of our running backs. We don't want Matt to be our leading rusher. Uh, but we also ask Matt to manage the game. Something I thought he did really good early in the year. And um, but uh, I think as the year went, he kind of dropped off. His play did because he tried to do it all. We talked to Justin. We talked to Jackson. We talked about defensive performance. When you look at the numbers, they're not good. But if you look at the, the breakdowns of the games, they're feeling they're a couple plays away, a couple breakdowns that they need to eliminate. Did you see things in the spring that, that would make you hopeful that those things are going to get cleaned up this year? Oh, I do. I think you look at our defense from the second half of the year. Uh, I think the second half of the year, we definitely saw a, a, a huge improvement um, def defensively. So. We, we've got to build on that. We've got to, we, we're asking a bunch of young players. We were the, the eighth youngest team in all of college football to play. Um, and so now we've got, to, we've got to be able to respond. And, and we're going to play some young guys again this year. And we expect, uh, we expect them to pick up and, and, uh, and build on what we, what we, what we were, were establishing last year. We've got to get better. We have to create turnovers. That's something we did early in the year last year, and it dropped off. Um, and that's something where we, we, just, we, we, we really got to do a better job of that. 